Hey guys, I'm back again to bring you another video, and this one is a little bit different, a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit more straightforward, and I get a lot of questions asked to me on a regular basis. I get a lot of the same repeating comments, and even though I've done Q&As throughout time, I wanted to sort of just rattle off gunfire style a shit ton of facts about me so you can get to know me a little bit more, whether it be music or otherwise. And of course, if you have any questions about like me musically or personally, you can put them down in the comment section below. I am pretty much an open book. Book. I'm gonna keep this completely unscripted and raw and just go over some of the questions I see routinely asked as well as sharing little tidbits and fun facts about me along the way so feel free to use them against me in like seven years or something so my name is Alex you can just call me Lex or Alex I went by the name Jay Morris the review guy on this channel for a very long time that's why I still call myself Jay Morris at the ending of my outro and I changed my name to the Metal Tempest a little bit ago because I just wasn't a big fan of the branding or name of my previous channel. I started YouTube back in 2018. I was doing like gaming videos with my friend and I just really wanted to make content. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing so it was just a mixed bag scatterbrained to 50,000 different niches rolled up into one but slowly but surely I found my niche in the metal and heavy world because that's what I grew up with, what I enjoyed watching and a ton of creators, the Cover Killer Nations, Brain Smashers, etc. They really inspired me to create my own videos and I just love storytelling. That's another thing about me. My big biggest dream in life is to be an author. I have loved literature and I've loved writing ever since I was about five or six years old. Some of my biggest influences being Stephen King, John Green, George R. R. Martin. I've had a lot of different books that have just meant the world to me and changed the course of my life forever. And my biggest dream was to be an author always. And I was going to go to college, but then, you know, the bad word that YouTube doesn't like, you know, 2020 happened. And so that changed everything. I'm 23 years old, going on 24. And that was actually a pretty big and good thing in my life because at the time it let me put a lot more effort into things that I wouldn't have otherwise and led me to a lot of opportunities. Not the least of which is I am a voice actor in the nerdcore community specifically on YouTube. I do a lot of hip-hop stuff, singing, music-based stuff, a lot of rap battle stuff. If you're familiar with any names like Freshy Canal, Uberosity, Eddie FRB, I've worked with those types of people. I've been in projects with Cam Steady, Matt Forio, a bunch of different people at this point. I've been in upwards of two or 300 different projects. I voiced a ton of different characters all across the vocal spectrum and one of my like best kept secrets is the fact that I am a voice actor. I tend to keep that in my YouTube channel separate but I also have a second account that I don't really put out there that is nothing but vocal synth related stuff and vocal covers. I do a lot of Utal stuff which is sort of like a fan made vocaloid think Hatsune Miku. I voice quite a few Japanese Utals that also sing in other languages as well as like English English. I have one Chinese bank, that sort of thing, but predominantly they are in Japanese. I voice like over 20 or 30 characters, both for myself and for other people. I am from the great state of West Virginia, born and raised. I've lived here my entire life. I'm obviously not going to fucking dox myself. Nice try, but I will say that I'm generally speaking around the tri-state area and like the Kentucky and Ohio region of things, and that's always been cool. If you're someone that likes some of like the nerdy online stuff, I am a Scorpio sun and a Scorpio rising, a Leo moon, if we're talking Zodiac. Zodiac shit. I'm a Ravenclaw primary, Gryffindor secondary in terms of Harry Potter house. I'm an INFPT. I grew up on a lot of JRPGs and MMORPGs. I was a Nintendo person growing up. I fucking loved the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo DS. Also have a Switch, obviously, but I was also privy to a lot of like the Final Fantasy series on the PlayStation. And I grew up on games like World of Warcraft. That was like my entire childhood and defined so many things. Outside of that, I'm a big horror game junkie. I love games like Phasmophobia, Lethal Company. Company, Layers of Fear, Pilgrim, that's a big shout out that I want to say. Some of my favorite animes would be like Berserk, Clan Ed, Hoseki no Kuni, Soul Eater, Corpse Party, Attack on Titan, Parasite the Maxim, Terror and Resonance. I grew up loving animes like Cowboy Bebop and Angel Beats and more recently I've gotten into Bloom Into You. I get a lot of questions about like identity or appearance or what the fuck I am because most of the time I don't give it much thought and I don't really care that much on this channel. The sense of like this is my channel for content. I love to make content and it's not necessarily about like what I look like. But if you're so curious about like the background of stuff, I most of the time I just don't really label myself. I just call myself non-conforming. I don't really get into labels on this channel because in the nicest
this way I can say the community is not necessarily the biggest safe space in terms of free expression so most of the time I temper that down but in terms of like sexuality I'm pan I just consider myself pan I don't give a fuck about what you are who you are if I care about you if I love you that's pretty much all that matters to me I'm also a Christian I've talked a lot about on this channel about my faith and about how that affects my like metalhead listening in the grand scheme of things I specifically consider myself a Lutheran I don't really care that much about denomination but Lutheranism has always been the one that I have agreed the most with that I have adopted the most opinions of sola fide sola gratia sola scriptura I don't think anyone on earth should be able to dictate religion and I don't think a person in a fancy hat in a church should be able to dictate to you what God is or isn't and that's no diss to people that go to church or people that are like orthodox catholic or that sort of thing but it's just not for me I've always very much erred more on the side of protestantism and I think that spirituality and faith is something that is very much internal and your own journey your own connection to your creator and I feel like no one should really force you or tell you how to live that nor should you try to project or shove it on other people if they are unwilling it is very much a personal thing that you believe in that you have faith in and that you adopt and try to live your life by in the best way possible and obviously you're gonna fall short because everyone falls short no matter what religion or non-religion you are a part of you're gonna fail no one's perfect it is what it is I have quite a few different collections I have a lot of like weird like obsessions and niche obsessions like I love collecting shit from like Bath and Body Works like scents and hand sanitizers and stuff I've collected CDs cassettes and vinyls for a while I have a massive shelf of nothing but Stephen King books that I've collected over time and a lot of them came from like thrifting and garage sales and flea markets which I very much love that I love going to thrift stores I love antiquing that's always been something that I've been drawn to like secondhand stuff I think that's a ton of fun if you want to know my favorite colors if that's the type of thing you're into my favorite color is forest green followed by lavender purple and scion I very much am a green person specifically dark green I actually painted my nails like darkish green not too long ago it was earlier today I am a huge fucking nature freak in the sense of I am constantly walking for literally like miles a day I go on walks to like a river a dam a park I used to go down to a creek near my area that was probably very dangerous to go to and I'm pretty sure I saw bear there once I specifically like night walks like I will walk in the dead of like 4 a.m. just because I feel like it it's very tranquil it's very calming to me and speaking of calming I'm someone that has like a lot of tendencies with like low mania and emotional irregularity when it comes to like regulating my own emotions and that's something that I mask a lot of times I'm a pretty overthinking anxious person by nature and I have a lot of symptoms that I've kind of wanted to get figured out I've just never gone down the pipeline of getting therapy for it because I've always kind of had 50,000 things going on so I manage to the best of my ability and outside of that I tend to be the therapy friend of every single circle I'm in everyone dumps their problems on me everyone vents to me I tend to be pretty eloquent I can handle a lot it's very hard to phase me so I help a lot of people and I try to give advice because my thing is I never want anyone to feel the way I do at any given point because I tend to bob up and down my emotions are very much a roller coaster and outside of emotions if we're talking like physical stuff I definitely have like a very high pain tolerance not because I do but because I was pretty much forced to because I've had a lot of random ass health problems throughout my life and I'm only like 23 so it makes me wonder what I'm gonna be like when I'm like 30 or 40 but like I'm 23 and I've already dislocated my knee stoved both of my elbows so much so that they've just randomly cracked for no reason I've had multiple surgeries on my esophagus to try to dilate it because it keeps closing up I've had esophageal strictures my esophagus just fucking blew up at one point which is pretty cool I have cluster headaches that come and go like with the seasons some of the worst headaches you will ever imagine in your life and I would not wish cluster headaches on like anyone I am pretty much an insomniac I have trouble falling asleep I have trouble staying asleep and just in general my sleep shit is it's its own like beast I have to usually like medicate in some way to get like a decent night's sleep no matter how hard I try or how exhausted I am I have night terrors usually I regularly will just wake up bolt out of bed and like just feel so panicked and out of it and that sort of thing growing up I had a predisposition for shit like strep throat I had strep throat so many times had to get antibiotics for that a lot and I haven't gotten in recent memory but once I do occasionally still get it had COVID had an insanely bad bout of stomach flu when I was five years old I've had multiple choking episodes multiple episodes of which brought me to the ER but enough of that sad shit we ain't no pussies around here in terms of music I love all types of music I know this channel is very much dedicated to metal but you would be surprised how many of my playlists that I just listen to on my own time are a clusterfuck they are all over the place they are not one genre by any stretch of the imagination I am a fond admirer of pretty much just I 
I'm a music nerd. I don't care what I'm listening to. I, I've said on this channel, I hate the term guilty pleasure. I think it's stupid. I don't particularly like that term. I think you should like what you like, when you like it in terms of music and limiting yourself. You are turning yourself away from so many fantastic musical outlets and music has always been a thing that has helped me a lot. It has been catharsis and that's why I made this entire channel because I wanted to story tell about things that I'm passionate about. And if we're talking like the antithesis of metal, I absolutely adore folk music and I specifically love ambient music. It helps me a lot with dissociation and it helps me ground myself a little bit more and not be so like lost in my thoughts all the time. My favorite non-metal artist is Nothing Nowhere. I have been like in the top 0.5% of his monthly listeners every single year for like five or six years in a row at this point. I, I love non-metal. And recently I've been brain rotting on League of Legends and Cuphead if that's something you're interested in. I had a very eclectic music listening journey when I was younger because both of my parents were into very, very different types of music and my dad was a big reason I got into like classic rock, grunge, and some early heavy metal, which would later lead me down the pipeline, but it was mostly like the YouTube 2000s of just looking at recommended songs back in like the golden age of YouTube that led me there. But honestly, I feel like that's enough ranting and rambling. If anyone's even interested in this type of thing, we'll see. I don't expect it to get like a billion views. It's a little fun video I wanted to do for like loyal subscribers and people who want to know a little bit more about me. And of course, if you have any other questions, you can let me know down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them. I read every comment and I'll try to answer all the ones that have like extra questions that maybe weren't answered in this video. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morris and I'm signing off saying fair well. Yeah.